Hey guys, it's your girl Priscilla Ono, and I'm here to show you guys how to do a cool monochromatic look with the Pantone color of the year, Living Coral. So she's already prepped with Pro Filter foundation and concealer in the color 360. So first I'm gonna get started on the eyes. I'm gonna take our Pro Filter Amplifying Eyeshadow Primer, and I'm just going to dot this on all over the eyelids. I think that this is one of the most important steps when you're doing your eyeshadow, and a lot of people forget about eye primer, but it really is what helps the eyeshadow stay on all day and actually come out true to color. So now I'm going to take the concealer brush, which I love to use to blend the eyeshadow primer because it has that really cool kind of edge, and it just hugs the eyelid perfectly. The bristles of the brush really help to blend in that primer. So now I'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow and I'm gonna go in with the Moroccan Spice Palette and I'm gonna take a little bit of quicksand. I'm gonna apply it all over the crease. I'm also gonna apply some of this color on the outer part of the lash line. That really is gonna make her eyes just pop. So since my lip is going to be pretty bold, I wanna do a softer eye so that it's balanced but yet still that really cool monochromatic look. So now I'm going to take that exact same color, quicksand, but I'm gonna take it on a flat eyeshadow brush, and now I'm gonna press it on the rest of the eyelid, so that way you're getting that full color payoff. I've noticed that when I do the crease color first, it almost looks a little darker, even though it's not. It's the exact same color. So now just going back in with my crease brush, just to kind of blend out where the eyeshadow stopped right at the crease so that we don't have any lines. I've noticed that sometimes people like to do this inner corner highlight with more of a shimmer, but I don't mind doing it with a matte as well. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Hennessy, and I'm gonna use this on an angled brush and kind of just define her lash line. I wanna keep it nice and soft since we're gonna go bold on the lip. So I'm just going to press this right at the lash line to give her that perfect smoky liner. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara and I'll be right back. So I just finished off her eyes, and now we're gonna get right into the lip. I'm so excited to apply the new Stunna Lip Paint in the color Unattached, which is this gorgeous coral color, perfect for the Pantone color of the year. The Stunna Lip Paints come with this really cool applicator that's actually really helpful. So just taking that, lining the lips, almost using it like a lip liner, and using the very tip of the wand to get that really nice, precise application. So now I'm just gonna lay the wand flat right on the lips, instantly deposits the color to get that full color payoff. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of quicksand on a powder brush. I'm just applying it right on the apples of the cheek and working upward. And sometimes when I do eyeshadow, I like to match my shadow with my blush. So what better way to just use your eyeshadow as blush? Brie and I are living for this coral. Make sure that you guys comment in the comments below and let me know what videos you guys wanna see next. 